In just two weeks, we transformed our entire basement. Looks like a real closet. It's better than any closet in the house. It, it, well, it's because there aren't any closets in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Into a bedroom sanctuary. Today's the day. My dad is coming up this afternoon. It's been full of ups and downs. Help! <laughs> SOS! <laughs> and the weather hasn't helped. National Weather Service emergency alert. The icy roads and zero visibility. But with a little help from our friends, I think it turned out pretty well. Oh my gosh. Wow. If I had a boat, I would sail out Take every brother and sister of mine We'd roll in the sunshine and sleep when it's dark Hoping to find somewhere we can call home But it's black, yeah it's black Oh, the water's black Look at these professionals Hey! Hey! It's freezing in here! It's freezing out here. I bet. I don't want to hear it out. <laughs> man is not happy right now. I not mess with him. Oh my gosh. Do you want some hot cocoa? No, hopefully this is the last of the cuts. Okay, good. The legend of the scare... I can't say this word. Stair skirts. Continues. Scare skirts. Scare skirts. <laughs> We're almost done with these scary stair skirts. <laughs> So cold! What language are you speaking out here? I, I don't know. <laughs> Chinese? <laughs> uh, sound like gibberish? Sh sound like Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> Angry. So crazy. Push it in yeah, at all? Right there. It's gotta go in more. That's pretty good, except for you just messed up the wall. No, I did that earlier. Oh. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of messed up spots around here. <laughs> all right, that's good enough. Nice, guys. Oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Are these not five and a half? What? Oh. It's too short. I thought the baseboard is five and a half, but they're five money. Oh. It's a style. Maybe we just yeah, run with it. Yeah, if you fall, you'll like land on that. Yeah, that's true. I can, I'll fix it. All right. I got the buzz tool right here. We're going with it. The buzz tool won't cut straight, will it? That's great, the guy running it. Cool. Looks like we meant to do that. Sort of. Stair skirts. I wouldn't call them stair skirts, I'd call them stair disgustings, but <laughs> they're on. They're all nailed in. They're all caulked. Grayson is masking off the carpet right now and uh, touching up putty in some of the nail holes. And then we'll be able to paint that stuff and it will be all done. I'm going to start working on the shelf in the bedroom. Um, basically, I just have to mount four brackets and then the shelf is going to go in there. Our hanging rod needs to be cut down and then it will go in there. And then the final thing to do down here would be to get some wall paint and then just go and touch up all the spots on the walls that got scuffed and 
marked and are ugly and gross. Or we could just go ahead and do some wallpaper. <laughs> just add add a week's worth of work. <laughs> yeah, just after we paint it, yeah. just go and cover it with wallpaper. It is really snowing. I know. It's so funny because normally like we finish a project 90% of the way and we're like, great, it's good enough. We have a deadline or something needs to get done somewhere else. And so we move on. Um, we went and got all the plumbing stuff for the addition and we're, we, we do need to work on the addition, but after just spending like a couple hours out there taking inventory, um, I think everybody silently agreed like, wow, it's way too cold to be out here. Anything we can do to finish off the basement 100% where it's a little bit warmer is greatly appreciated. So we are literally down to the final detail, finishing everything possible in this basement, if only just to procrastinate on going back outside to the frozen tundra that is the addition. <laughs> Back from the depths. The abominable snowman's back. The abominable snowman. Is it still in your beard? Probably. Oh my gosh. Stand right here for a minute. Yeah, there you go. Fire was nice and raging this morning. These guys spent a couple hours um, doing full snow removal, which I passed. I passed on. I stayed inside for. How'd it go? No. The only time you ever want to do snow removal is when I actually want to do it. And then you're like, <laughs> no, I want to do it. <laughs> How did it you're go? like a dog with a bone. If I've got the bone, then you're like, I want that bone. And then <laughs> if you have your own bone, you're like, I don't want this bone. I want that bone. Oh, and this scene gets cut out of the video. She <laughs> <laughs> has ultimate control over what you say. Yeah, I know. I can't even get through to my audience. <laughs> Help! SOS! <laughs> Allie's cutting out all the parts where I'm trying to tell people how I really feel. <laughs> how is the snow blowing? Well, it looks like we didn't even do it. I know. Yeah. Did you get the alert on your phone yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Another alert? Yeah. Squall. It was a squall. Snow squall. Snow squall. Snow squall. squall. So last night we were in the valley with my dad and my brother and we got an alert on our phone, a National Weather Service emergency alert um, that there was about to be a snow squall. Um, with icy roads and zero visibility and heavy snow accumulations and to get off the road and delay travel as quickly as possible. And I thought like a squall was something that happens by water on like a lake front or an ocean front. It was very weird that it would happen in Salt Lake City. Um, and within like 20 minutes, it was like tornado gusts of wind, uh, snow everywhere covering the roads. It was intense. And today it has been snowing pretty much nonstop. It really just makes me want to go skiing. <laughs> Do you want to go skiing? Mm. You do? Mm. Maybe we should go skiing, Leo. Mm. Would you like that? Mm. Can you say yes? No, I was after. No. He's, He's got, got his tape measure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of have to go into a stud so if I put it here then the MDF on this corner when you put something in that corner is going to rip off hmm. and if I put these here that's probably a pretty big span there for the MDF to span. smiley faced. <laughs> it's 
it's fine. Looks good. I mean, you can always add one in later too if, if you think it needs it. Looks like a real closet. Do that. How'd you do that? It's better than any closet in the house. It is. Well, it's because there aren't any closets in the house. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Not yet. Not yet, Some yeah. Random off the shelf Home Depot stuff. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I had to make about 700 cuts. <laughs> oh, well aware. T shirt and no shoes. What are you doing? Called a quick cut. It's called you're making a mess. You're gonna walk in here now? No way. I have, a, I have a good vacuumer. Socks are perfect. Look at that. Here. Looks like a spa in Sweden. A Swedish spa. Would that Swedish? I just couldn't do that. Did you see it? Yes, I saw it. <laughs> I saw it fall too. Never pay attention to the cool things I do. <laughs> Now hang 30 pounds off the edge. Ah! Don't, don't rip it out of the wall. <laughs> nice. Oh, God. Cool. Good job. Comes with little gloves so you don't have fingerprints in the mirror. What about the world we both believed in? What about the word that made it yeah. so? What about your blood boiling creases? When you're just aching for her love. Oh, I just got a new winter storm watch. An additional 6 to 12 inches, up to 18 to 24 inches, with locally higher amounts. Travel could be difficult to impossible. <laughs> That's good. Impossible. Impossible. It's never impossible. It's a huge gap. We had some really tall plants. Tall books. Yeah, but then you can do your hair Dude. or whatever. Okay. And you can see everything. See yourself. Yeah. Like Put that plant on the, on the dresser. My hair is out of the thing now. I'm three inches taller. <clears throat> Put the plant on the dresser. I understand what you're saying. I'm just saying it's now we need to type. bridge the bridge the gap. Yeah, see like that. A couple of those yeah, some tall books. Good. Jewelry box. A jewelry box? Yeah. Nobody has jewelry boxes. What about some books? Yeah, some books for sure. Bloop. Oh. Cute. What's oh? oh. What? You spit all over <laughs> that? <laughs> That's yeah. okay. Exactly what it is. <laughs> you want to hang the picture? That looks good. Wait a minute. <laughs> Did you take a nap? No. Why? I don't wake up. You woke up? <laughs> Aren't you tired? No, I'm tired now. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have put the tape measure in there? <laughs> oh, in the garbage? Okay, bye bye.
Well, look at this. That is basically the final finishing touch. We've uh, touched up all the wall paint. We've got all the lamps. They've all got light bulbs. We've got our blackout shades installed. The heater's fully operating. The shelf and the uh, clothes rack is all installed in the closet. All of the pictures, mirrors hung up. All we gotta do now is get all the tools out of here and do one final vacuum and it'll be ready for Russell. We love you, Dad. We hope you like it. It's what I I think I just finished the uh, final paint on the baseboards and the stair skirts, and I think we're ready to start pulling the tape. Once this tape is off and everything's fully dry, then you can vacuum these stairs. Cool. And uh, we can sweep in here. And it should be done. Wow. How long did it take? So we started at the week of Christmas. 16 days. Wow. Yeah. So we basically renovated an entire basement in two weeks. For our timelines and standards, I'm very impressed. Um, and this place came out pretty flawlessly. <sighs> it's very bittersweet and it's kind of hard to decorate knowing who this room is for and the reason we're building this room in the first place. My dad right now doesn't really want to look at pictures of my mom or be reminded of like the good times because it just makes him and all of us very sad. So I'm trying to think of ways to decorate this room in a way that is cozy and familiar without hanging a bunch of pictures of my mom and like old family pictures. So I think I'm gonna get some of his favorite books, um, maybe stop by their house later and pick up some artwork that I can use on these walls. One of my favorite touches is this is a blanket that my grandmother knit 40 years ago. Um, my mom's mom knit for my mom and we had in our house in DC for the last, you know, 30 years. So I'm hoping he'll recognize that and feel touched without feeling sad. Um, even though the sadness is just one of the emotions that we are all dealing with and um, not really even trying to push away. We're just letting it happen and living with it and living through it. Yeah. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Do you like it? No, I'll be up. You want to go on the bed? Wow. Zip the neck up all How the way. Pretty it looks. The hood makes it so that when you bend over out? like this, you can't. Good do night. It. That's not Leo's bed. <gasps> what are you doing? I'm down the tree. Yeah, you're downstairs. Mm. You're in No News Room. Mm. What's No News Room doing in our house? Oh, Ricky. A cow. Ricky? Oh, reindeer. Reindeer? A reindeer? It's close. It's a Scottish reindeer. <laughs> reindeer? Yeah. Um, Ooh, it's, yeah, it's a cow. No, reindeer. Reindeer, okay. <laughs> Do you like that bed? Oh, yeah. Careful. Lamp. Lamp. Can no new sleep here? No. I'll nap. You're gonna take a nap? Okay, good night. Yeah. I'll tie nap. Right, Leo's. Uh, no, no, is really not gonna like you touching his pillow. <laughs> no. <laughs> we are getting very close to finishing this bedroom. Russell is right around the corner from coming up here to stay with us, and I'm really excited. And we have had some discussions about whether we should put a TV in here or no TV, and what's Russell gonna watch. And honestly, Russell usually just watches movies and TV shows on his laptop, and he actually uses a really cool hack that we told him about, and that's using Surfshark to access different libraries. And Surfshark is actually the sponsor of today's video. So Surfshark is a VPN. It's a virtual private network, and that's actually something that protects you when you're on an unsecured network so that people don't have access to your information. It keeps your password safe, your bank account information, your social security number, all of your private information is encrypted when it's incoming and outgoing so that nobody can actually get a hold of the real information. This is a huge benefit if you're trying to protect yourself, but also it gives you the ability to log in from a remote server, which means you can actually log in in the UK or in 
France or in Australia or anywhere around the world and you can actually access any of the streaming libraries from a different country and you actually get access to a completely different library. So there are some TV shows that maybe you don't get on your streaming service that you would like to watch and if you check in different countries a lot of times they're available. Anyway, if you don't have a VPN, you absolutely need one. It's kind of like car insurance. If you're driving a car without car insurance, you're being pretty dumb. So if you're using the internet without using a VPN, same scenario. I highly recommend Surfshark because they're super affordable and it's really, really easy to use on your phone, your tablet, your laptop, anything. So right now they're actually doing a special deal. If you guys click the link in our description and use code Trent and Alley at checkout, you will get up to six additional months free when you sign up for Surfshark. So thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Now I'm gonna go upstairs and uh, we're gonna see you guys in the morning. That's a big daddy moose. So here's the big daddy moose right in front of our house. And if you look up there, there's mama moose. Daddy moose is just waiting for mama moose coming down the road. No, I did what is that, Leo? Um, reindeer. A reindeer? Mm. It's not a reindeer, it's a moose. What? A moose, yeah, a big daddy moose. <laughs> no, a reindeer. Reindeer? Mm. I know, you really want it to be a reindeer. Too? Yeah, I got bumped. Jesus. <laughs> just like right, it was a it's knee. Just, oh, it was a knee right, right on, the, on the orbital bone. And like it, it didn't even hurt. It just like hit and I was like, ooh. And then like after we were like done with whatever submission, I like stood up and I felt my eye and I was like, oh my gosh. And there was like a mouse under there. Great. Good morning, guys. We're waking up to a beautiful new day. Um, Grayson and Jennifer aren't coming up because they have some stuff to do in the valley. So Leo is starting off his morning right with Monsters, Inc., his absolutely favorite movie. And um, today's the day. My dad is coming up this afternoon. The last of our family leaves this afternoon um, and gets back on an airplane to go home. So I think everything is done. We have a couple more things we need to pick up, but for the most part, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit, make it a little bit less of a mess in here for him. Um, maybe get a grocery list going. We haven't cooked dinner in since my mom died. It's been a long time, it's been weeks. Um, so, and we've been just like taking takeout to my dad's house every single night. So I'm actually really looking forward to having him here so that we can cook again, spend a little bit more quiet time together, um, and just settle into this new phase, this new, very strange, very difficult phase, but together. So it also snowed a million feet last night. Trent and Brandon are gonna work on some snow removal. I'm gonna start cleaning up. We'll see how quickly we can get this done. That'll be nice. Yeah, then when it snows and stuff, you can just freaking throw that off. off. Yeah. Yesterday at Jiu Jitsu, I got bumped in the orbital bone, which is this bone right here, right underneath your eye. Aww. And uh, it looks way worse than it is. <laughs> it looks horrible. It doesn't, it actually doesn't even hurt. Like the spot isn't even sore. It's not really like swollen anymore, but as you can see, there was some bruising under the skin, so. <laughs> I'm gonna look like I got in a fight for a while. And you know, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of comments, people being like, Trent, quit doing jujitsu. And the answer is no. You have a scratch, I'm, I'm just noticing right there. Yeah, I like getting beat up. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's fun. <laughs> it's just Brandon and I, and uh, he's gonna start by snow blowing the deck. I'm gonna get the skid steer out, start snow blowing the driveway around behind the house. Basically just trying to get this place ready for a massive storm that's on the way. We already have 
probably 20 inches of snow outside right now and there's like three to five feet coming. We don't really know how much is actually gonna hit this area, but it's gonna be substantial. Here he goes. You say, go Brandon, go, hi. Wave, Leo. <laughs> Daddy go. Daddy went into the skidster. Do you see it right there? Hmm. That's Daddy. I want that. You want to drive? Hmm. Maybe in a little bit. Would you make me a car? Go call you me too. No. Ooh. I don't want to head out half asleep. Swallowed a cannonball in my dream And it's pulling me back underneath my sheets It's freezing out the morning blues Well I'm here, I ain't no coward I was never hiding from you Couple calls Few forlorn stairs When whistles and the windows all he dares to question me. Probably you know a couple months ago we made a video uh, test driving a Rivian and talking about whether we were actually gonna buy one, whether it made sense on our mountain with the snow and the cold and all the different features of you know having an electric car that has to be charged and all of those things. And uh, needless to say, we went for it. So we are uh, driving our new Rivian R1S. It's an SUV and uh, we've actually had it for a few weeks now and we've been using it and we're in the middle of one of the biggest snowstorms that we have had yet. And uh, we've got some studded snow tires on this thing. It's a quad motor so it's full all wheel drive. This car has been handling amazing in the snow. We had uh, Rivian sent us a wall charger. I installed that in the garage. Every time we get home, I plug it in, we charge it. The garage is heated, so we never have to worry about like the batteries in the Rivian getting too cold or having trouble charging when it's cold or anything like that. So honestly, we've been loving it. It's been doing amazing. We're super satisfied with it. And uh, we're going on a little journey today in this massive snowstorm to go do some shopping. And then at the end of the day, we're actually gonna be bringing Russell back with us. And uh, today's his first night staying in the bedroom that we built. This morning we spent a long time snow blowing and just moving snow around. Brandon and Trent were outside for hours in the skid steer, on the snow blower, shoveling. There's been so much wind and it's been snowing like, I don't know, an inch an hour, maybe more. It's been coming down heavy and for the next 48 hours-ish is like the thick of this storm, the eye of the storm. I uh, got a ton of laundry and cleaning done and organizing the pantry, just like random cupboards, things I wanted to get done before my dad arrives so that when he gets here, he can feel like, oh, he has space for things. And he can put stuff in the pantry. He can put stuff in the bathroom. He can kind of make himself at home. So that was very productive. Um, and I'm interested to see how we are able to get down and whether it's going to be a, an easy trip down. So far, so good, but there is so much snow. <sighs> it's getting gnarly. <laughs> I'm a pretty confident driver, especially when it comes to the snow. I just have a lot of experience with it and I'm very like comfortable and familiar with my vehicles and I usually know what they can and can't do. And that can make a huge difference in being able to get somewhere and being able to not get somewhere or losing control of the vehicle or something like that. But you know, whether it's up here on our roads or whether it's down on the highway, what you really have to worry about is other people because of the way that they're driving or the decisions that they're making. That's really what you have to watch out for. But 
I'm pretty confident um, that we'll be able to get down and you know go do our shopping and do whatever else we need to do and then pick Russell up and bring him back up to the house without any issues. So we put the camera down and we weren't really talking, but uh, the Rivian made it all the way down to Salt Lake. We made it back to the house. Everything went on without a hitch. And now we are back here making a nice steak dinner for Russell. We've got Russell with us. And we're about to take him downstairs and show him the bedroom for the very first time. He's seen some of the work online uh, on the videos, but what he's seen is like, you know, probably a couple weeks behind this. So, you ready to check it out? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, nice. Look at that. Very a pretty. little different from last time. Yeah, very pretty. Nice. I love the uh, wood grain design. Let's so see. eventually there will be a sauna in this corner. Right. And then mirrors on this back wall right. for like a gym area. Mm -hmm. And uh, Trent wants to do a cold plunge, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> One day. <laughs> but there'll be like a rubber floor in here with like some weights. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Right. We'll, we'll let you go in first. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's really sweet. <laughs> that is very sweet. And I love that. Do I mean, you? Oh yeah. We were like, he's gonna hate the cow. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, he's a bull, I think. Bull? I don't know. <laughs> he's yeah. got horns. Um, looks beautiful. Good. It really looks beautiful here, and I love this. What did you? What is this? Like a design element? It's acoustic paneling. It's yeah. like uh, to stop echoing, but also like right. has a design aspect. And it's yeah. nice and insulating, so it keeps it warm. It's very cute. Very cute. Um, I'm very humble. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks we're, for thinking of me. We're happy to have you here. Is this like from many years ago that you saved or something? Mom had it in the house and then she brought it out here nice when I had Leo. Let's see what this feels like. <laughs> ah! Oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> Could this be a helix? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, this is not a commercial. <laughs> feels good. Good. Yeah. good. I, love your, I love your recessed lights. Yeah. I mean you can dim the lights but also like with the lamps it oh has like a God. really nice this, this is like a viper den. <laughs> I mean, it's gorgeous. Yeah. And I do, I do love that. I love that rustic uh, feel. Good, the, uh, good. Pool there. Huh? That doesn't open. Yeah, it doesn't open. No. Right? You can't. It why, can't. why would you put this down? <laughs> because this door, we had to cut oh. this door down. Uh -huh. It's like, is there like small cut. people coming here? <laughs> yes. Like, you know, do I have to worry about what people are going to be coming out at night going, hello? It's just, <laughs> it's just the furnace. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I noticed the little yeah. inset there. Doesn't it look like a real house? It looks, and then the mirror is beautiful. Uh, I love the ca I love the uh, cabinets here. This is great. Yeah. I'm like, oh wow. Well, it's really gorgeous. I think it's safe to say he likes it. He's gonna spend the night here, and we'll check in in the morning and see how he sleeps. But it is nice and warm and cozy, and the vibe really turned out well. I'm happy with the way everything turned out, honestly. So we're gonna go have some delicious dinner and hit the sack. It has been a crazy, wild couple of weeks, <clears throat> and we finally made it. We finally 
have Russell here. The room is completely finished. He seems to love it. And we'll what else, see. What else could we ask for? We just got him all tucked in. He's going to sleep downstairs for his first night, and I'm excited. We had a beautiful dinner. It's been an amazing, uh, very snowy evening together. <laughs> and um, it's been a hard few weeks, but it's honestly been really nice to have this purpose to look forward to and uh, something to complete for my dad. So we're really grateful that he's here. Now we just need to find motivation to keep going on the edition. Yeah, coming up next. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure today and seeing Russell enjoy the room and get to see all the hard work that we put up, make sure you guys leave a comment about it. Give us a big thumbs up on today's video and consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.